Hello, hello, hello. My name is Sammy. This is Unicorn Dust Designs and today I'm actually posting on a different day. So I hope y'all are ready to see a video. Today I am collabing with a bunch of amazing women. We are going to be doing a Christmas song DIY collab. So we all got to pick a song that we wanted to do and we're basically going to build our DIYs around that. So it is going to be so much fun. I will link the playlist down below so you can see all the other DIYers. And with that said, let's go ahead and get into these crafts. All right, our first DIY. We're gonna get this Let It Snow. We're gonna paint it. And what I'm gonna start doing now is we're gonna get some Mod Podge. I got my parchment paper and I am just gonna put the Mod Podge right onto my brush. We're gonna brush that on, making sure to keep in the lines of the snowflake because we just want it on the snowflake here. I love the squeezable tube of Mod Podge that you can get at Dollar Tree, so convenient. This is the marquee, I think it is, glitter that they had at Dollar Tree for a while, and it is beautiful. I love that you can still see that blue paint right through it. Look at how glitter. I love me some glitter. Okay, now we're gonna take the snowflakes from Dollar Tree, the little sticky ones, and I'm just doing it right on this clear sheet that they come on. And again, just applying it directly to my paintbrush and then applying it to the snowflakes in a very light coat. I don't want to like slam these things with glitter like those stars above them. Just want to lightly coat them. And then voila, those are all done. And then I use my parchment paper so then I could just easily bend it, put it back in. So you guys, I got this wood board from Michaels. I believe it's after summer. These things go on like deep clearance. So this was probably like $3. So now I'm gonna take the Let It Snow wood cutout. We're just going to hot glue it right on. This is called Spa Blue, by the way, by rust -Oleum. We're going to adhere that. Then we're gonna take our little snowflakes that we put some glitter on and they had the little sticky foam things on the back of them. Didn't like that because it made them like pop up. So you guys, I am gonna put this on the T to cover the hole. Of course, I wanted to put it on the dot of the I, but I knew that the hole on the T would just drive me nuts. So if you're wondering, that's why I put it there. And then we're gonna put a third one and then save that fourth one, set that one aside, cause we will use it later. So looking cute, love you, thank you, let it snow. All right, so going on, okay you guys, I just wanted to show you this because I looked on Pinterest of course and I was like, all right, your girl's gonna make a big poofy fluffy bow. Y'all, I just am not this big of a bow gal, okay? I tried it. It didn't work for me. So we're basically gonna deconstruct all of that. Do you see all that glitter fall out? Like, like, whoa, glitter. Okay, so we're taking this baby apart, okay? And basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make a messy bow with it. Now, my amazing subscribers told me you could take the wire out of these wire ribbons. And I was shook because you guys were telling the truth. Not that I think you guys lie, but you know, I had to try it for myself. And so I took it out and it made it just so much more, I don't want to say whimsical, but it was just easier to work with, especially when you're doing a messy bow. These are all from, these two are from Dollar Tree. And then the next one I use is like, it almost looks like cheer bow kind of ribbon you'll see it it's like white and you can't see it in the image but it is like super super glittery now the ribbon is the same length and then i just cut them into strips and then you're just gonna play around with this just lay them over each other just keep stacking 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 now this silver ribbon they also had it in gold and red from dollar tree it is stunning you guys does the glitter fall out of it? Yes. Is it worth it? Uh, H-E double hockey sticks. Yes, it is. Because, I mean, look at it. So, then we are going to just keep stacking. Stack, 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 stack. Okay. Yeah, I guess I just wanted you guys to watch all of this bow process. So, enjoy. I do end up taking, like, the wire edges off for 
on the top. Don't know why. Okay, now you guys, my zip tie, of course, bringing it to the back. I am tightening, tightening, tightening. And then look at how cute this is and sparkly. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so using the same silver ribbon, I cut the edges off and then I'm gonna put that in the middle to hide that zip tie. And it's more sparkles, so why not? We are going to hot glue that off and then we'll cut the excess off of the back of that. Now we are going to get our board again. You guys, I have so much of these wood boards because they go super, super, super cheap when they go on clearance. Okay, so now we're gonna hot glue this bad boy right on. Huh, your girl got glue happy, so I had to scrape some of that off there. But no worries, you can't see it. And then we're gonna take our little snowflake that we also put some glitter on. Look at how pretty that bow is. Ooh, oh, I get so excited about glitter. Okay. So attach that to the middle and voila, stunning, stunning. If you can see, I mean, you'll see it right here, but like the glitter when it catches the light, when it's standing up is just beautiful, you guys. Absolutely beautiful. I hope you like it. And you know what? Sorry about my filters, you guys. I keep getting in these weird angles of shadows. So then I try the filters, but then they're too bright. See like the shadows that cast over it? Maybe in the new house. Guys, I hope you're enjoying the craft. If you have not guessed it already, my song is let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. The weather. I don't want to get copyright infringement, so we won't go there. But you get the gist. I hope you guys are enjoying this. And if you are, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to share, 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 share. And let's go ahead and keep on going. All right, you guys. We are going to be doing this wood round. Now, y'all know I love my wood signs, but I'm going to make this super easy. You guys, this is about six bucks at Home Depot. This is going to make a stellar gift or something for yourself. Like literally this is going to be so easy. So this is a 17 and a half inch round and I am taking Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint. Now you can use uh, acrylic chalk, acrylic chalk paint, acrylic paint, whatever you would like. Now, if you want to get the exact look that I am going for and showing you today, I am only going to apply one coat of this on. I am using a chippy brush. You could get these at Dollar Tree. And then we are going to, you can see that like I'm just lightly coating it. I'm keeping some of the wood exposed. I want it to look rustic. I'm not doing this all clean or anything like that. And I'm not getting the sides because eventually I'll make this reversible so that I can use it for winter and then I'll use it when it's not winter. <laughs> Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so then we're gonna go outside once it's dry. We're gonna get one of these. This is just from the Dollar Tree here. Your girl is gonna set it directly on top. And then of course, check for hang hair because we don't want that getting stuck in our, <laughs> our tray here. So I'm gonna take gray. Now I chose to do gray because I wanted it to be a bit more neutral for the living room. And you'll see that I am gonna go light. Do you see how far back I am? And I'm doing very light coats. I'm not like getting heavy handed with this. I am misting this over the snowflake because I don't want it stark, stark gray. I just want the mist of the gray. So once that's done and you're satisfied, make sure you get in all those, those little holes in there and everything. Then uh, the wonderfulness is going to come out. Are you ready? <gasps> oh my gosh. Look at how beautiful that is. You guys, this is 17 and a half inches. This is big, okay? And then with that, $6. I mean, this would make an awesome gift for anybody. All right, so now we're gonna take it back into the house. Now to make this more durable, Okay, if you're gonna have glassware on it, candles, you know, things on it, I would suggest using polyacrylic, a chippy brush. Again, you could get that from Dollar Tree. And we are going to put two coats of polyacrylic on it. Now you can most definitely use Mod Podge here. Um, you can use a um, 
a clear spray paint, but I highly recommend this for durability, okay? Um, so right here, I am putting on light coats and we are going with the grain of the wood and with the way that we painted, which is uh, the grain of the wood as well. Now, don't get heavy handed with this. You wanna go in light, you wanna make sure you cover everything and then make sure to keep an eye on your sides. You don't want this dripping all down the sides of your sign. Because remember, we do want to make this reversible eventually. So there's our first coat. And then I'm going around my sides and I'm just kind of lightly dry brushing it. Because if any of that clear had dripped down the sides of that wood round, it would dry and it would leave like a cloudy bubble that isn't pretty. So then I go back in and I do my second coat. I don't sand in between the coats or anything. You most definitely can with a like 220 grit sandpaper or something, but that's not my preference. I just go right in after it dries. And um, I dry mine with a blow dryer on cool setting just because I have no patience and I want to speed my process up. So look at how beautiful that is, you guys. I wish my house wasn't tore up because I would love to show you. Actually, stay tuned on like my Instagram or something and I will post a picture of it set up for you. All right, our last DIY. We are taking these little square boxes. Uh, I'm pretty sure everybody has them in their stash. We're gonna go ahead and take this bad boy apart and then push our back out of here and then once we do that, then I take my uh, little craft knife and then I just kind of clean up the glue so that when I put the back back in, it sits flush with the frame instead of all lappy sided over here. And then after we're done doing that, we're gonna go ahead and rip the gather um, that's popping up of the back of our thing off. Now, don't worry about your ripped paper here because we are going to cover this. So I found you guys the most beautiful scrapbook paper at Hobby Lobby. It's a vintage set and it was $6.99, 50% off. And the stuff in here is absolutely beautiful. So we're going to just hot glue this directly on there. I do suggest putting a little dab in the middle, which I did not do. Um, and then we're going to cut the remainder of this off with our craft knife. You could also use scissors as well. That's super simple. And then um, after that is done, we are gonna go ahead and, uh, well, I'm gonna play around with it first. This is the Dollar Tree or Dollar General ornament. It's absolutely beautiful, but we gotta take that top part off. So I get my wire cutters, it comes off so easy. And then for a while I'm thinking, and I'm like, mm, do I wanna leave it like this? But you know I couldn't leave it like this. It needed something more. So I painted it that same spa blue and I was happy I made that decision because it added just what it needed. So this is kind of like a dome shape over here. So what I'm gonna do is take my ruler, I'm gonna find the middle point of our backing here. And this is why I say that the hot glue, I should have put some in the middle because once I apply this little wood cube and apply the ornament, it kind of like lifts off of the back of the sign. So do as I say, not as I do. And now we're gonna take some uh, super glue from Dollar Tree, some hot glue, and we are gonna attach that right to the back. I love these ornaments. You guys saw me use one in Monday's video as well. All right, let it snow let it snow. All right. Then you guys, I was just able to pop this right back in. That was it. That was it. And it turned out so pretty. And I love how all of them kind of like vibe together. My kids are upstairs screaming. So look at how gorgeous this let it snow. And what I love too, is it has like Carol lyrics in the background so it just kind of goes with the whole music theme as well of let it snow and you guys remember i'm doing this christmas song diy collab so make sure to go check out that playlist all right beautiful i hope you guys enjoyed these simple diys i hope they inspire you to create and i cannot wait to show you a picture of the wood round 
all set up as a serving tray because that's what I will be using it for in our living room on our ottoman. So you guys, I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you for joining me. Bye. All I taste is my lipstick. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. At first I liked this. Now I just feel like it looks like a bunch of chaos and clutter and, mm, you know? Mm. All right. It's already on. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. No. <laughs> Mahalo, you guys.